Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Michael Freiberger, K4MKF. Now, what he is having trouble with is his, he wants to bond his station ground rod to his electrical ground rod. Unfortunately, the side of the house where the electrical is on is where the driveway is. So there's no access to earth down there to run the bonding wire. Well, you do need to run a bonding wire and it will, you're supposed to run them underground, but if you need to go above ground, that's fine. Don't run it through the garage, that's for sure. Now you can do this a couple different ways, but I would suggest you take the electrician option because you want to bond it right to the utility ground rod, not in the breaker box. That's too far away and too close to the stuff you have in your house and it could cause real RFI problems in the house. That's what I would do. Now, I'm looking at your panel and in the panel there's a piece of tubing that comes down and goes slightly to the right. That may be your ground. There's also just to the left of that something that goes straight down. That may be the ground too. That's what you want to bond to. It'll be a copper, probably number six, smooth, bare wire. And now if you talk to an electrician, they'll know what bonding is and things like that. And they can help you. Now you're going to need to run that wire right at the seam of where the driveway meets the house. Now the problem there, of course, is it will be exposed. There's really no way around it. Now, the piece of wire can be kind of squished down into, they, they probably, when they poured the driveway, put a piece of felt in there or something to allow expansion without causing damage to the foundation. Your electrician will know best and how to get that wire put in. The electrician may run it in a piece of conduit, keep everything copacetic. There you go, that's about the best I can offer. I know when I wanted a 30 amp outlet out by my garage so I could plug in my RV, I actually called an electrician who had done work for me before and had him run that. I mean, it, you, that's a couple hundred dollars that you got to pay for that fee, but boy, it's professionally done, meets code, all of that kind of stuff. And my RV is way the other side, so I've got actually a fairly long extension cord out to the thing, but it works fine. I mean, they're designed to uh, work that way. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to say, unless... You know, you're dealing with bonding to the utility ground. You could always talk to the utility and have them come out and identify the ground for you. I doubt they will run your bond for you, but you can get, you can do it yourself or you can get an electrician. In many states, you can do your own electrical wiring if you get a permit or you can have it done professionally. Uh, you can't have a friend do it. That's just not legal. And to be sure with insurance, if anything does happen to your house, you want to be able to prove to them that everything was inspected. And that's why you want to pull a permit for something like that. It's not just out in the dirt like mine. This is right tucked up next to the house. So there you have it. Sorry I couldn't be of more help, but if you would like to help this channel keep going, please become a member. It's very inexpensive, plus you get early access to videos like this. Until we next meet, 73.